Hey everyone! So I wanted to do another video on the hype for season 3 of Bridgerton. The second part is coming out this week. So um, I did this video inspired by Francesca's character on the season. It was a character I really liked. Uh, I'm putting here some pictures of the inspiration from her outfits and looks. So very sparkly and very like soft. And I really liked her character, and I wanted to do something with her, and also bringing in the piano forte that her character plays. I'm starting off with a base coat. Uh, this base coat I use is a strengthening base coat that has nylon fibers throughout. I've, it's the one I've been using, you've probably seen it in all my latest videos. Uh, I play volleyball at the gym, so this really helps me to not chip my nails. It's one I've been really enjoying. Next, I'm doing one coat of this nail polish from a collection by brand here in Brazil called Hiske that they did in collaboration with Bridgerton. The name of this one is uh, Going by My Own Story, Writing My Own Story, something like that. It's really good coverage and I'm gonna mix it with the metallic from the collection as well, so I don't need full coverage for it, so one coat's fine. Here is the Instagram page that inspired me to do this combination. And coming in with the metallic, since it's a little bit sheer, that's why putting the pink underneath kind of gives it a little bit of a different undertone to it, which was an effect I really liked and I wanted to do with the two polishes in the collection. The metallic one, just out of curiosity, is called Your Majesty the Queen. So, you know, a very uh, golden, orangey, metallic one. I'm doing here a very common Brazilian technique where you kind of use this little stick to do the cleanup and then you come in with a little cotton to also finish it up. So I know it's not very common in the US. I'm sorry if some people don't like the image, it doesn't hurt at all. Uh, it's just a way to do the polishing and the cleaning up. I only recorded the cleaning up for the thumb because it's really hard to record and try to get the angle right. So I'm sorry, I'm not showing the entire process here, uh, only for the thumb. Next up, I'm coming in with top coat. Even though I'm gonna do nail stamping, I still do a top coat to avoid getting the stamping nail polish mixed up with the base polish because I have had that happen in the past. So I'm just doing a thin coat of top coat here. I'm using Moria's purple stamping polish. I forgot to record it, so there was a picture there. And this stamping plate has seen better days. It's really old. I got it like 10 years ago off of an AliExpress-like website, so there's no name, no brand on it. So I'm sorry I don't have that to share. But I use it because it had those like music sheet type stamping designs there, which I thought tied in with the character. It also has some piano keys at the bottom. And you see I missed part of the design on the sides there, and that's fine. I'm gonna try to do something here that is possible to do sometimes. You don't need to clean up the stamping plate. You can kind of go with the second coat and try to pick it up. Since I was trying to like MacGyver the situation here, <laughs> do a workaround, I didn't need it to be perfect. So it worked, I got a little bit uh, of a piece of the design that I could use it to patchwork with what I already had on the nail. And it kind of worked, I'm sorry music lovers, this probably doesn't make sense with all the overlapping in the design, but for the purposes here it worked. I love this little piano on this stamping plate, so I had to get that design as well. And I'm using the purple polish because I think it looks a bit softer than coming in with straight black. Or even with just white polish, I think it adds a little bit more interest using the purple here. The little piano looks so cute, I can't stand it.
Next up, I'm just doing some quick cleanup of the part of the stamping that got on my finger. You can do this with tape or acetone and a cotton like I'm doing here. And then next up, I'm going to come in with a stamping finisher from Apipila, which is to avoid smudging. I don't, my packaging is like totally ruined, so I'm showing a picture of what it looks like here. Uh, the Brazilian version, which is the one I have. The, but mine is so loved, I can't even show it, it's just like a blank uh, bottle. And as a top coat, I'm using this Northern Lights um, top coat that has some holographic particles on it. And I like that the hollow is a gold hollow. I thought that tied in good with the metallic that we have here. And again, a lot of the vibe in the pictures I saw, I thought were warmer. So I wanted to go in with the gold one and not a silver one to add a little bit of interest to the nails. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll show you guys some pictures and videos of the final result. I did uh, a few pictures in a video in direct sunlight at the end of an afternoon. And I think the hollow and the metallic really pop on that lighting. Uh, I think it looked really pretty and I'm super happy with the outcome. I hope you guys liked as well. I can't wait for the new season to check out what's going to happen. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.